Welcome to episode number 23 of our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky playthrough. In the last episode, we continued our escape. I felt like I've started every episode of the past three episodes exactly the same way. But we continued our escape away from Dust Noir and Sableye. Um, and in doing so, we came across Grovile once again, who had been... Knocked out by a rogue Sableye. Uh, no, not Sableye. By a rogue Spiritum. And uh, Groval explained to me that in this world, in this world that we live in, uh, that we're currently living in because we got kind of kidnapped, uh, a lot of bad, uh, a lot of good Pokemon are doing bad things because they're scared, which is fair enough. I can understand that. The world has practically ended. So, yeah, because uh, of the paralysis, the planet's paralysis. So, yeah, we're going to continue what is going on here. I'm not entirely sure what's happening. We're on chapter 15 now. The secret of the planet's paralysis. So, we're going to find out a little bit more about this. I said there was going to be some more plot at the end of last episode, didn't I? So, here we go. We've uh, we've obviously found a new hiding place. Ha, <laughs> good. This will do. Those Sableye won't be able to spot us easily here. Ah, tell us, Groval, in the future, why did the planet's paralysis take place? The cause of the planet's paralysis, that dates back to your time, in the world of the past. The planet's paralysis started with the collapse of the Temporal Tower, which is governed by Dialga. Uh, Dialga? Who's that? He's the legendary Pokemon that controls time. Dialga ensured the proper flow of time from the Temporal Tower. But when Temporal Tower, Temporal Tower collapsed, ah, time gradually got out of control. And eventually, the planet fell into paralysis. What? What happened to Dialga? When the time went out of whack, Dialga also lost control. Now here in your future, the planet has become fully paralyzed. <laughs> it's like Gen 1 all over again. He can't move. He's become fully paralyzed. And thus, Dialga has lost almost all his reason and is governed by darkness. Dialga is now beyond recognition. He's become an entirely different entity. Yes. He's been transformed into Primal Dialga. Arras confirmed. A primordial presence. Oh, it's technically, I suppose, is, is it Arras confirmed because they brought in the primals? Or is it Sinnoh confirmed because of the... Because it's obviously Dialga. Mm. Oh, okay. Ugh. Primal Dialga feels no emotion. He seeks only self-preservation. So he prevents history from changing. That's why Dialga wants me gone. Because I tried to change history. Because I tried to stop the planet's paralysis. Because I travel back in time to your world. From this place. Your future. What? Grovel, you're saying that you came back to our world so you could prevent the planet's paralysis? But that's completely the opposite of what we were told. Grovel, you came back to our world to paralyze the planet, didn't you? And Grovel, weren't you the one stealing the time gears? You gotta be joking. I was collecting the time gears. Because they were needed for preventing the pa- Too many peas, man. Too many peas. Preventing the planet's paralysis. I needed them to take the- I needed to take them to Temporal Tower and put them in place. That would have reversed the collapse of the Temporal Tower. Which was fully underway in your time. Well, it is true that removing a time gear from a specific place causes time to stop in that area. That's only temporary. After the time gears are put into the temporal tower, time would have been fully restored to normal everywhere. Ugh. Well, then what about all the things that Dust Noir said about you? Like how he said you were a wanted outlaw in the future, and now you escaped from the future and fled to our world in the past. So you're claiming all that was just a bunch of lies? What else could it be? Because Dust Noir really is an agent sent from the future by Prime Old Dialga to get rid of me. What? Dust Noir was an agent sent to get rid of you? That's right. I said the Primal Dialga will try and thwart any attempt to alter the course of history. That's why, when he learned that I traveled through time, he sent Dust Noir after me. Uh, the great Dust Noir. It can't be. It's hard if you believe, I know. I can't believe it at all. You're saying all this about the great, great Dust Noir? D -d -d Dust Noir? I don't understand why Dust Noir is acting this way here, but 
I respect it, Dustmar. I can't, I can't believe you. It is hard to accept, but looking back at over what we've been through in this future world, what Groval said is reasonable. Makes perfect sense. And Trevor knows it. Trevor knows deep down that what Groval has said is true. But knowing that makes it that much harder to accept. But... Hey, where are you going? I'm going to see Dustmar. What? I want to see Dustmar. I'm going to find out if what you said is true or not. What's the point of that? You'll only be making it easier for them to get rid of you. You don't stand a chance against them. Then what am I supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? Didn't you wonder this earlier? You decided that you would decide for yourself? You insisted that because you don't know what to believe. You wouldn't accept words for their face value. You think for yourself. Ugh. It's times like this when things are tough that you have to be strong. Think for yourself and act as you deem right. Groval, what are you going to do now? I'm going back to the past again to stop the planet's paralysis. To do that, I need to find Celebi. Celebi? That's right. You can come with me or not. It's your choice. You two decide on your own course of action. I'm off. Uh, I don't know what I should believe either. But there's one thing I can say for certainty. In this world of... In this future world of darkness, the planet is paralyzed, and the paralysis of the planet happened back in our world. That's why to stop that from happening, we have to get back to the past. We have to get back, back to our world. Oh, Leon. Yes, I know. What Groval said. Groval's right. Things are very tough now. That's why we have to be strong. I'm alright now. Let's go. Let's catch up to Groval. Leon, we have to, we have to get back, back to our own world. We do. So I guess we're going to go and hunt down Celebi as well. Are we actually going to uh, join up with Groval? Is Groval going to join our team? This looks ominous. Is that actually the temporal tower there that's uh, kind of broken down? Is, is that where they are? Master Dialga, the stage has been set for the capture of the traitors. When the time comes, it may be necessary for us to beg your help, Master Dialga. As you wish. By your leave, we shall proceed. You didn't say anything. Sorry, that, that just reminds me of Charlie the Unicorn. With the magical Leah Plorida. It's a magical Leah Plorida, Charlie. It has spoken and has shown us the way. Didn't say anything. What? What was that? Strange sensation. How that strange sensation? But they love alliteration in this uh, in this game, don't they? And it just makes it so hard to just read it out loud. Where? Where are we? This is the Dust Forest. Its name comes from the dark fog that perpetually shrouds it. Deep in this forest, we shall find Celebi. Hey, Groval. You mentioned the name before, but who is Celebi? Salabi's the legendary time travel Pokemon. She has the ability to cross time. But, well, she's a little odd. But anyway, Salabi's ability enabled me to go to the past. So if we find Salabi, can we return to our world? Yes, you can go back. But Salabi is the Pokemon that sent me to the past. That means Salabi has lent her support to reshaping history. Wait, are you saying that Salabi's in trouble too? That's right. <laughs> That's right. Primal Dialga is also targeting Celebi, so there's no time to waste. Get ready soon. We have to find Celebi. We do. We do have to find Celebi. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to get Groval in the team, unless he joins us and kind of... kind of chills. You seem to be finally prepared. Let's go then. We'll find Celebi and return to the past. Let's go. Oh, wait, don't go. What is it? Uh, if the three of us do return to our world, Grovar, will you steal the time gears like you did before? Well, yeah, I will. <laughs> Otherwise, the planet's paralysis can't be stopped. But I... Grovar, I'm not convinced yet. I don't completely trust you yet. I'm only cooperating with you because I want to return to our world. If we do return, Grovar, 
I'll investigate if you really were stealing those time gears to prevent the planet's paralysis. Groval, if I decide that you're wrong for stealing the time gears, I'm going to stop you, Groval. Huh. Do as you will. Keep this in mind. What's important now is getting ourselves safety back to your world. For the time being, focus on getting back home. Let's go. I feel it. I'm sensing something strange. Hmm? What's the matter, Leon? I just know it. I've felt something like this before. It was... That's it. It was when... Huh? What's wrong, Leon? It's this weird sensation. I don't know why I'm feeling this way. Alright, wait a second. I know this place. I thought so. Similar to the sensation I had back then. Hey, what are you doing? Hurry! We have to hurry, Leon. Oh, here we go. <laughs> So we've got a Sableye chasing after us. We're in the Dusk Forest. Straight away we've got a TM for Vacuum Cut. Well, we've discovered that Vacuum Cut does no damage. So. Alright, there's Mothims in here. And there's Gabites in here. Well... The whole Gabite situation is a little bit worrying. And he gave no experience. Oh, I need to lure that out of the wall. Otherwise, I can't hit it. Get out of there, Trevor. I can't do anything. I have to... Right, now we can attack it. Because it's actually here. There we go. Jumpluff. Seems a kind of random Pokemon to have here. There's that moth in. Groval, can you, like, attack something? We'll pick up that Auron Berry. There's too many entrances to this room for me to sit and heal before the stairs. Probably do it here, though. Yeah, that's nice. Can I really not do anything with Groval? Is he just... He's just sitting here. I'm hoping that uh, Groval has got Quick Attack. Doesn't appear to have. Didn't use it if he does. Pokemon here. Trevor! You idiot! It has got quick attack. Man, Trevor, you're an idiot. You are just stupid. You are just stupid. Why would you do that? Yeah, that that that, that playthrough just failed. We, um... Well, it doesn't help that Groval doesn't help us. Like, he's here. But he ain't doing anything. He used one attack that entire time.
be honest, Grovile, I don't really care about you. But it would have been silly for him to just carry on battling against that uh, that Garbite. He probably knows a bunch of really rubbish moves as well. Right, it's in the room. So I have to make sure that the Miss, Miss Magius actually came into the room. Oh. The spark can't go around corners. The Gabites are a real problem. That's that's our main issue right now. Is the Gabites because it's ground type? We can't. Mm -hmm, speaking of which, we can't do a whole lot to them. We can bite them. It does nothing. Uh, the only advantage is that Trevor does have a uh, water gun, so and water pulse, and he's using them, uh, using them to take down these gabites quite nicely. Sick floor. I feel like this is going to be quite a big dungeon. Gabite. Groval, can you do something, please? Thank you. Alright. Gaining levels, learning a new move. Crunch. Get rid of Vacuum Cut. Vacuum Cut does not do enough damage for me to not want Crunch. Actually, going to set crunch. Actually, setting crunch so that we can take on these gabites. See how much damage crunch does? Sixty eight. Alright, we're doing better at least. Nice, thank you. I did so much damage! Die! Uh, we got an Orenberry. Must have, there we go. I did, yeah, that, that took me down to 9 health. Nearly wiped me out in one shot. Oh, no. Um... Get away from here. Okay, now we can attack it. Right? Team Trevor. Tactics. Go after foes. And then you two are just going to have to deal with it, you realise? Dig. Of course he didn't. Thank you. Uh, Trevor. Again, we've got to go. Get away from here. Okay, he's come on to it now. Team Trevor. Go after foes. But I don't want him to take a magical leaf, so I'll take the brunt. Crunch is super effective, and it doesn't kill. I thought that it would. 
thought it would do more than that to a Miss Magius. A food item went bad. Okay. That ain't good. Probably just lost an aura and berry, but... The whole ghosts in the wall thing that uh, is a massive struggle that we're having at the moment. That's the biggest. That's the biggest problem we're having with this, uh, with this dungeon, or well, with this part of the game actually, because it was the, the past couple of dungeons as well. Oh come on now. really down here yeah it is ah uh, okay oh dusk forest heights hold on hold the phone this is this is where Celebi is supposed to be that's right I was I was around here it was around here that I met her the last time but if Prima Dialga knows of this place Celebi would have fled from here if this place isn't known to our pursuers however the Celebi should still be here Hello, Celebi! It's me, Groval! Reveal yourself, if you're here! Ugh, she's not coming out. She got frightened off by Primal Dioga. What if... What if she's been captured by Primal Dioga? Uh, I'm gonna say it perhaps is Celebi. So, uh... Captured! Ah, where'd that voice come from? But now, I don't hear anything. That voice, was I just hearing things? Tee <laughs> you didn't imagine it. Me, captured, how insulting. Captured? Impossible, that's for sure. <laughs> wow. It's not just a, a Celebi, it's a shiny Celebi. Is, is shiny Celebi purple? I don't actually know. It's been too long, my dear Grover. Yes, it's been a while, Celebi. What? This tiny thing, Celebi? Now that's downright rude. How inappropriate for fun of my petite proportions. Ugh, I'm sorry. I heard you have the ability to cross time, so I expected you to be some awe-inspiring Pokemon. How uncouth. Never judge somebody by your appearance. But I forgive you. After all, you must find me cuter and more special than you imagined. Huh? Uh, yes. Celebi, I need your help again. I know. Se seeing you back here, my dear Groval, tells me everything I need to know. You're back because you've failed in your mission in the past, yes? Ah, uh, yes, it's true. I hope you manage this time. I've had quite enough of this. Living in this dark and dreary world is so depressing. Sorry, there's no time to chat. Sableye are tracking us. If we don't leave soon, we'll have brought trouble to you. B, it's quite fine. There's no need to be worried. Let those sable eye come. They're no concern to me. I know dazzling gleam. Besides, if you'll be so kind as to prevent the para planet's paralysis, we'll finally be spared the agony of this world of darkness. My idea, Grovile. I will devote my whole life to achieve that end. Aye. Where's the passage of time? It's right. It's nearby. The passage of time is on a plateau above this forest. That's good. Can you guide us? Yes. Are all three of you taking the passage of time? Yeah, that's right. Oh, what's this? Your friend? What? 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 No, that can't be. Is something the matter, Salami? No, it's nothing. Definitely is something. Well, uh, shall we? Off to the passage of time. Definitely something up. Definitely something up. Hey, Groval, so what's the passage of, blah, 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 passage of time? The passage of time is a portal that Celebi uses to travel through time. It's a secret corridor that spans dimensions. For short trips, I can travel through time all by myself. But for big trips that spend many generations, I must use the passage of time. Oh, so if we're to go through that passage of time... Yes, you'll be able to return to your time. Oh, I see it. 
Okay. There's the entrance that leads up to the plateau. The passage of time is way up there. Good. We'll leave as soon as we're ready. All right. So, yeah, we uh, we will leave as soon as we're ready in the next episode. So, uh, yeah, we're uh, we're going to leave this episode off here, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky playthrough. Excuse me. If you have, please do leave a like down below, comment or subscribe. I appreciate all of your interaction. And uh, I will, of course, we're coming to, I think we're coming towards the close of this game now. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're in the final, final sort of section. It won't be that long left until we're finished. So, uh, yeah, you don't want to miss the ending of this game. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Stay brave, guys. How will us in silence? How will I be denied? How was I brought to fall?